guy, uh, he came into town, he's doing comedy for a few years. He's one of my greatest friends in comedy and in life. Please give it up for Mr. Faisal Butt, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. He's a liar, we've never met. I don't even know if that's his real name. How's it going? One more time for Guido Cogamello. And yes, you heard Guido correctly. My name is Faisal Butt. That's my real name. And that is not a good name to have in high school or prison. Have you guys ever been bored at work or at school or home and you Google your own name? I did that shit once. I googled Faisal Butt and 18 million porn sites just came out. And Google on its high horse was like, Did you mean Facial Butt? I was like, No, Google. <laughs> just trying to have an ego moment. But now I got an hour to kill, so let's do this. <laughs> So if you like my uh, stuff, if you like my comedy, check out my website. It's www.bukakianofuckslots.org. <laughs> I was in the back of the room watching you guys watch the show, and I bet you didn't realize this, but clearly we have many things in common, right? For example, I also have white friends. <laughs> I do, I love them, except... My white friends, they come up to me all the time. They're like, Faisal, look at you, man. Your hair's all over the place. You're brown. You got a beard, huh, bro? You starting to look like a terrorist. Hey, guys, come here. Melanie, Doug, Steve, Earl, Jim, John, Rachel, Ryan, Peter, Paul, the other Steve. Doesn't Faisal look like a terrorist? And I always respond with, man, why can't I just look lazy? <laughs> or broke. You know how much a Mach 3 blade is? $15.99. $17.46 with tax. That's four shots of Jack Daniels with no tip. Back in Toronto, I can get six grams of weed at friend prices. Because ladies and gentlemen, I'm a 35-year-old unemployed, whiskey-drinking, pot-smoking Muslim who's dating a Jewish girl. Thank you. I was going to say, the only people I'm terrorizing are my parents. <laughs> I've got a jihad on their dreams. <laughs> this is not my weekend, guys. I'm really bad with accents too, guys. Sorry. <laughs> They're like nine to be like, no, 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 no. That's not how you people sound. I'll be the Buffy Maharaja, but... So I did mention that I'm, uh, I'm unemployed, and that shit is sweet. But I should have prefaced by saying uh, I recently won this lottery that's sponsored by the Canadian government, I-E-E-I, -E -E -I. and that shit is sweeter. I don't know what your current work situation is, but I mean, if you can fuck up and try to get on EI, it's amazing, because all I have to do is every two weeks is log on to the internet and answer five questions, but they're yes and no questions, so it's basically uh, yes, 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 no, <laughs> yes, <laughs> and 48 hours later, there's all this money in my account, <laughs> and I had no idea where it came from, and I think I just figured it out. You know when it's Thursday or Friday, and you guys get paid, and you're looking at your stuff, you're like, oh, I made this much. These damn taxes? Where's all this money going? Run her. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Please keep going to work. I really need an Xbox. <laughs> yeah, it is. Sorry, I thought someone was talking to me. I just thought of something funny, don't worry about it. <laughs> Do you guys like how I kill my own momentum by going off script? <laughs> my girlfriend and I, we live in the, the fake one. 
<laughs> we live in Toronto, we live in this apartment building, right across the street is uh, like one of the only video stores that's still like open. And my girlfriend and I, this guy's like, he's so funny, I have to go take a piss. <laughs> I can't even contain it. Or he's like, fuck this shit. We come to a comedy show to see the bad guy from True Lies on stage. I was like, what? <laughs> I don't know, well, you guys ask them later. But this is, uh, this is one of the last videos so that's up, and they have a porn section too, so my girlfriend like nudges me, she's like, Basil, uh, let's go uh, to the porn section, rent a porno. And I'm like, babe, we have a computer and the internet at home. I've got this covered. You know that folder on our desktop that says taxes? I don't want to fuck up this opportunity, so we go and I let her pick whatever and we get home. And it's been so long since I rented a porn DVD. Like, when you put the DVD in the DVD player and press play, before the menu screen comes up, there's a screen that's flashing in red and it says, WARNING! The sexual activities depicted in this DVD may be medically harmful. In addition, they are not necessarily healthy, safe, or suggested. And I'm sitting on the couch next to her thinking, that is good information to know. But that is not good information for her to know. I know I'm gonna wanna try half the stunts on that flick. She shuts me down, guess what? I'm Googling my name again. Right, I'll be honest with you, um, I thought you guys were going to laugh a little bit longer, give me enough time to bring the mic stand here, and then put the mic back in the mic stand, and then we're going to be like, I'm done! So you guys just fake it, so I'm going to do the last laugh. <laughs> He's been ripping it up all weekend. He's been doing comedy for a lot of years and he traveled over to this great country. Please give it up for Mr. Stephen Levesque, ladies and gentlemen. Let's 